Find the exact value of the cosine of x over 2, given that cosine x is equal to 1 fourth, and x is between 0 and pi over 2. Solution. So in this problem, we're going to use one of the half number identities. So the half number identities for cosine are cosine of x over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine x all over 2. The 1 for sine is the same, except it has a minus here. So the first thing we have to do in this problem is to determine whether we use the plus or the minus. In order to do that, we have to figure out where the angle x over 2 is. So we'll start by writing down our condition on x. We know x is between 0 and pi over 2. We want to know where x over 2 is. So we have to divide everything by 2 or multiply by 1 half. So when we divide 0 by 2, we get 0. When we divide x by 2, we get x over 2. And when we divide pi over 2 by 2, it's the same as multiplying it by 1 half. So we get pi over 4. So x over 2 is between 0 and pi over 4. So on the unit circle, here's pi over 4. And here's 0. So x over 2 is an angle that's here. So on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate. So that means that cosine should be positive because it's in quadrant 1, and the x-coordinate is positive in quadrant 1. So in this example, we're going to use the plus for the formula. OK, so let's go ahead and do it. So we have cosine x over 2 is equal to the square root, and we're using the plus. And we're doing that, again, because cosine is positive here in this little red piece. So it's 1 plus cosine of x all over 2. So this is equal to the square root. Now cosine is just 1 fourth. So this is 1 plus 1 over 4 all over 2. So cosine of x over 2, we'll go ahead and write it again, is equal to we can think of 1 as 4 fourths, right? That way we can add it to 1 fourth. So 4 fourths plus 1 fourth is 5 fourths. So we have 5 fourths over 2. So that's equal to, that's the same thing as 5 fourths times 1 half. It's the same thing as 5 fourths times 1 half. Because when you divide by a number, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as the square root of 5 over 8. And you can leave it like this or you can rationalize. Um, I'll go ahead and rationalize it. So to break it up you would write it as square root of 5 over square root of 8. And that's the square root of 5. And then on the bottom you can write the square root of 8 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So that would be the square root of 5. And the square root of 4 is 2. So you get 2 square root of 2 in the bottom. Then you could rationalize the square root of 2 over square root of 2. That's how you get rid of the square root in the bottom. 5 times 2 is 10. On the bottom we get 2. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So we get square root of 2 over 4. So both of these are perfectly acceptable answers. I hope that made sense.